Huh, ever since Minecraft 1.6 came out, I don't know anything. Ah -ha! Hey guys, what's up? So I'm going to show you guys on how to install mods for Minecraft 1.6.1 or any future versions of Minecraft. Anyways guys, I've been trying this out for at least 30 minutes to one hour yesterday on how to install mods and I couldn't really get it working. So I even searched on YouTube how to install mods and there was this like one guy who said, hey, I'll show you guys on how to do it for 400 likes and I'll upload it tomorrow. But for you guys, I finally figured it out. I looked up Dinner Bones tweets and he tweeted out like some hints on how to do it. So after reading those tweets, I was able to do it and I'm going to show you guys on how to do it. I'm not going to bribe you guys for likes because uh, you guys could do that if you guys really want to leave a like if this tutorial was helpful. Anyways, guys, how about we get started? It's a lot simple to install mods uh, in my opinion because first off, you don't need to force up to your game anymore. So I'm never going to be able to say you guys have to force up to your game. So I'm never going to say that again in my tutorials because I'm going to keep this video for record. So if you guys ever get lost in the future on how to install mods, you could always come back to this video and you'll still remember on how to do it. So you guys could click on the annotations above to skip to certain parts. And you could also go in the description below and there will be like a table of contents because just in case you guys forgot one method, then you guys could always come back to this video and learn it again. Anyways, in order to start installing mods, what you need is the new Minecraft launcher, which is right here, Minecraft, and you'll need the mods that you want to install. For me, I'm going to use Mod Loader and the Biospheres mod. You guys could pick Minecraft Forge and custom NPCs or Pixelmon if you guys really want to, if they're updated. You have to make sure that the mod's at version 1.6.1 or the version that you are using of Minecraft in order to get started. So anyways, guys, I'm not going to be showing you guys on the features of the new launcher. I'm just going to show you guys on how to make, uh, you know, mods work in the new launcher. So what we're going to be doing in this tutorial is we're, we're going to be making a new profile and with that new profile we're going to link it to a custom jar we're going to make right now. So let's go ahead and start this tutorial. What you're going to do is go here to the very bottom because we're going to start off installing our mods. There's no need to force up to your game anymore because it's a little bit more simple. I'll show you guys how. So go here to start, click there and you're going to search percent app data percent. All right, spelled that wrong. So percent app data percent. And once you search this at the bottom of start, you're going to see roaming folder. So you're going to click on the roaming folder and here you are. And also for Mac users, I don't really know how to do it for Mac, but I am going to find you guys a text tutorial. So links in description for Mac users if you want to read the text tutorial. I'm not sure if it's helpful or not, but I will still link it for you guys. So now that you have found yourself the roaming folder, uh, if you guys still haven't found your roaming folder, there's two different ways of getting here. You could always go here to start, go here to documents, and you could also backspace all this at the very top, the link. And you can always uh, search percent app data percent there, press enter, and it'll take you here to the roaming folder. So there's two different ways to locate your roaming folder. You guys should all know how to do this by now. But once you locate the roaming folder, click on .minecraft. This is where your Minecraft directory is. This is where all your files are at. So go here to .minecraft. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go here to versions. But if you do install a mod, then the configs folder is right here. So if you want to, you know, edit something in your mod, you can always go here to configs and you can learn how to do it there. So anyways, go here to versions because this is where we're going to be making our very own custom jars. So we're going to be installing mods here. So go here to versions. Just think as versions as the new bins folder. So anyways, here is 1.6.1. This is the default directory and you cannot install mods on here. The reason why is because when once you launch this new launcher, it's going to be updating this uh, Minecraft.jar. So it's already going to be forced updating it. Anyways, if I just launch the new launcher, you'll see right here, by default, it is now looking for 1.6.1. This is the folder, 1.6.1, and it is up to date because it just updated right when you launched the launcher. So what we're going to be doing is making a new launcher, and in, in order to do that, what you're going to do is you're going to make a new folder under .minecraft versions, make yourself a new folder, and you could call it whatever you want. Here's the cool thing. So just in case you want to swap between jars, you could always swap like it's it's not hard at all. So let's just say, for instance, uh, uh, Sly Fox, he wants to switch to Homeycraft. All right. He can make a folder called Homeycraft with no spaces. So you cannot include a space. If you want to, you could put an underscore, but no spaces. And he could swap between Homeycraft and Minecraft daily. So there you go. He could swap between two series like that. Or even if you guys want to swap to like something like Optifine, Optifine, I believe I spelled that right. There we go. So just in case you want to swap between Optifine or if you make a killer mod pack, you could always make a new folder and call it whatever you want. But for this instance, I'm just going to make a new folder and I'm going to call it Mod Loader. So you, it doesn't matter what you name the folder because as long as you install the proper mods and stuff inside here, then yeah. 
Anyways, inside this mod loaders, I'm going to go ahead and install mod loader and the biospheres mod. But before you do that, you have to go here to this folder, which is 1.6.1. You're going to open that up and you'll see that there's a jar, the same name as that folder, 1.6.1 and this right here, this uh, weird, weird file. So what you can do is highlight these and copy them. So right click and copy. So now that you have copied these files, the 1.6.1 jar and this weird file, once you have highlight this and copied, what you need to do is go back to versions. So click here on versions and this is where we copied those uh, files at 1.6.1. So now locate the folder that you want to uh, make your new little small mod pack at or whatever you want to install your mods at. For me, I'm going to click mod loader and these folders are going to be empty for now, but I could always install, you know, the mods in them later in the future. So I could just keep them there if I really want to. But what I'm going to do is open a mod loader. This is my custom folder that I created. So I'm going to open that up and paste the, uh, the things we copied, which is the 1.6.1 jar and this weird file. But one thing is, the name of the folder is called Mod Loader. So you have to make sure that this jar and this weird file is actually called Mod Loader. So here's the jar. I'm going to right click this and rename it to Mod Loader. Any caps, you have to include it. So just in case, uh, you know, if you have a capital M, you have to include the capital M. So anyways, I'm going to do the same thing for this. I'm going to just rename it and just put Mod Loader. There we go. So Mod Loader, Mod Loader. Now we're not done yet because we have made the jar and all that stuff ready. Uh, we still have to edit this. We have to edit this little file. In order to edit it, you could right click it and click edit with notepad plus plus or you could probably open it with like a uh, word pad or something. So I'm going to click open and see where it opens with and you could click select uh, a special program and you could open it with like a notepad. So go ahead and press OK and there you go. So the first thing you want to change is the ID. So once you open up this file, you want to change this ID right here you'll see colon ID and whatever's inside this uh, quote you have to change it to the name of the jar which is called mod loader so just change it to mod mod loader there we go so the ID now equals mod loader instead of 1.6.1 and you're good to go that's all you have to do so just click file save and once you change the ID to mod loader then you're good to go all you have to do is just edit this file and there you have it so now that you have edited this file, now what you need to do is you have to install the mods. We're not done yet. We have to install the mods. So go here to uh, the modloader.jar. You're going to right click that, open with WinRAR. So you're going to open up that modloader.jar with WinRAR. If you guys have 7-zip, you could use 7-zip. If you don't have any of those, then go to Google and search WinRAR and download the 7-day free trial. So here is our modloader.jar. Just think of it as a Minecraft.jar. What you have to do first is you have to delete the meta in folder. Before installing any mods, you have to delete MetaInf. So right click MetaInf and delete files. Say yes and delete MetaInf. Now MetaInf is gone. Now we can continue. So once MetaInf is gone, open up the mod that you want. So here's Mod Loader. You're going to open that up and move it aside. Here's all the files from Mod Loader. You're going to highlight all those files and drag it into the Minecraft.jar side and replace press OK. And now you are done because Minecraft Forge and Mod Loader have to install directly in the Minecraft.jar or if you called it ModLoader.jar. Yeah, so you just highlight and drag over. Now we have to install the mod itself. So this mod doesn't require to be directly installed in the Minecraft.jar or the modloader.jar. So what we're going to do is make ourselves a mods folder. So inside .minecraft versions modloader, inside here, you're going to make a new folder and call it mods, M-O-D-S. So instead of going back to .minecraft and finding the mods folder there or the core mods, you're going to be installing all the mods here. So under mod loader, here's the mods folder. You're going to open that up and you're going to simply drag over the biospheres mod and straight in there. And there you guys have it. So if I go back one, here's mod loader, mod loader and the mods folder. Now, I'm not sure if like, uh, you know, specific mods are going to change how to install the mod. So maybe at one point there's going to be a mod that requires you to install it through the dot Minecraft folder. So yeah, you just have to read the installation of the form of the mod that you're going to be installing because it, the installation could be quite different from how you're installing it. But anyways, this is how I do it and it seems to be working. I installed it through the mods and yeah. But anyways guys, with all that said, now we have installed our mod. So now we have the mod working. It was quite simple. You could get used to it. It's a lot faster and you could always switch between jars like I said. So anyways, let's go ahead and open up the new launcher and what you're going to do is you're going to make a new profile right here. So click new profile and call the profile whatever you like. So I'm going to call it mod loader, uh, mod loader mods. Just like that, you see this? So anyways, here's Mod Loader Mods, and right here, it's gonna say Use Version. Click there, and look right here, Release Mod Loader. 
because we have made the mod loaders folder and we have made this little file now it has indicated it on the launcher so go ahead and click release mod loader instead of 1.6.1 you could click here and you could just adjust this to your liking you could have it like uh the resolution size could be whatever you want. But anyways, I'm going to click save profile. And now I'm going to go here to profile and click mod loaders mod. And I might have to sign in again. So let me go ahead and sign in for you guys. And once you have done all that, then it should be able to work. And if it doesn't show up, then make sure that you uh, check out my help form, guys. Because if you guys don't check out my help forms, then you're probably not going to get the help that you need. Hopefully this tutorial was simple enough. And for the Mac users, go to my help forums. I know that there's a lot of people who help out with Mac's installation on my help forums. So you could go there too. And once I press play, the mod should be able to work. You see it's loading all the files. Here it is, Minecraft. Now, if I go here to single player, create a new world, and go to more world options, I could click right there generate the biospheres so there we go the mod seems to be working and that's how to get mods working on minecraft 1.6.1 or any future development builds and all that stuff anyways guys hopefully there will be a launcher in the future which will make it easier like magic launcher and stuff like that i would recommend to use a launcher if you guys don't want to do it the manual way but once you get used to this method then you guys will be able to make your very own custom uh folders and stuff like that it's a lot more simple in my opinion Anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If it helped out at all, be sure to leave a rating. And, and also, if you guys are new to my channel, be sure to click on subscribe. I would really appreciate it. You guys will be joining in and seeing all the cool things. I'm going to be reviewing a lot more cool mods and stuff. I've already reviewed this mod, I think so, the Biosphere mod. You guys could click on the description if you guys want to know where to find the video at. Anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and catch you guys later. Thank you.